So we've talked a bit about um, the development of theology. So this notion that sometimes early exposure to appropriate of appropriate children to penis can prevent the development of pedagogy. Uh, is that the main preventive treatment? Are there other preventive treatments that we're trying to come up with as time goes forward? Um, we're, many people are looking at a, a lot of other ways to be able to do it. Right now, this is the, with peanut per se, is the only proven uh, preventative therapy that we know of. Uh, people are also looking at whether we can do the same thing with egg and milk. Uh, there have been a couple studies done looking at early introduction of egg at four months of age. And there, the, the story is not quite so clear. That early introduction did not lead to decreased amount of egg allergy. One of the problems may be that four months may be too late for egg, and it may be with milk and egg, we need to start even at an earlier age. So there are a number of studies being set up around the world where we will be looking at this earlier introduction of uh, some of the other foods. So now you're talking about egg and milk allergies sort of on the back of the peanut allergy question. Do egg and milk allergies tend to uh, be... Um, Connect with anaphylaxis and dangerous, dangerous reactions as much as peanut allergies? Um, peanut allergy seems to be associated with the more dangerous reactions much more frequently than we see with egg and milk. With egg and milk, we see uh, about 80% of those children outgrow their egg and milk allergy, whereas with peanut, it's only about 20%. However, that 20% of children that retain their milk allergy have just as severe symptoms from their milk ingestion as we see with peanut allergy. One other question that comes to mind regarding emergency treatment of what looks like anaphylaxis, uh, you spoke about the epinephrine auto-injector, the EpiPen, as being a really crucial thing that parents should have on hand if their child has eczema or seems like they're at risk of an allergic reaction. Uh, what if the parent doesn't have that? And Something starts to happen. Suddenly, their child has, you know, drooling, spitting, not, and and seems like it's itching, hives. What do they do then? And right. So we would give a the epinephrine auto injector for somebody who'd actually been diagnosed with a food allergy. You know, where we know that they're reactive. Um, so I think somebody who just is suspicious wouldn't wouldn't necessarily have it. But if you get those kind of symptoms. Really, the, the main thing you have to do is get to an emergency facility as quickly as possible. Uh, once you're there, you, uh, the, the physician would probably immediately inject epinephrine in order to uh, try to reverse that reaction and then give other medications as appropriate. What kind of other medications do they give in the emergency room and other management that they would do? How does that the, the main thing that they, they need to watch for in, in the emergency room is that the airway remains open, that they're not having difficulty breathing. So in addition to getting the, the epinephrine uh, intramuscularly, if the child is wheezing, they may also give them uh, nebulized uh, albuterol or some medication to try to open up their lungs. They would often... Uh, give some form of antihistamine, and then also they will often give uh, some form of corticosteroid.